Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 29 of the Raid series. In the previous episode, we went into Shoreline and we were able to get a few kills there and battle part one and call part one done. And in this episode, I do want to go back into Shoreline and try and get a couple more kills and continue on progressing through those peaks to keep it task. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so dailies are done for the day and we got a new set. We have the Survive Woods twice. Kill, eliminate scars using SMGs or shotguns, 10. Uh, hand over the UMTBS Scout Sniper. This is a rig, I'm pretty sure, which is actually a pretty decent, pretty decent thing. Survive for customs, place that, see what we get. Eliminate any PMC operators using SMGs or pistols as a scav. Bit of effort, that one. All right, we won't be doing that. All right, so let me just double check that. Kill scavs with the shotgun. I think we could do that with just using the shotgun that we've got already. Scout. Sniper. Scout dash sniper. I'm pretty sure it's the green rig. This one. Yeah, we should be able to find one of them. We could even find one as a scav. And... Um, yeah, outside of that. Oh, okay. So first up in the hideout, we have this one finished. That's signal part two done. Means we can also go do the marking inside shoreline. All right, we have the scout task. This is a factory task. Um, requires us to just go to the three extracts in factory without dying. We have to do it all in the one raid now. There's the jam jams. Um, now we have the quest to do. Oh. <coughs> We're gonna go to West Two <clears throat> West Two Nineteen and the East Three O Six. Uh, East Three O Eight will get us in there. So uh, actually, no, West Two Sixteen we need. West. Can we get the West 216 key right now? 400k. I want to get that done. So we're taking it. All right. And the reason why I'm I'm going to spend that money on that quest or on that key to get in there is it's for Lendley. So it's this quest here. One of them's outside and the other two are inside the resort. So we could get this quest done. And we can also do all the, you know, we're going to do the cult as well, but also spa tour. We've got the um, two markers needed for that. So we need three markers. We might just quickly do a scav run real quick. Might be the play here. Just because I want a little bit more money. Should be able to buy three markers, but... You guys said to stop doing factory scav runs, but I don't want to spend the whole episode doing a scav run. You know what? Let's just commit and see how we go. We need one for the Colt, and then we need two for the helicopter, and then we've got the three jam jams. Let's go into the line and see how we go. We have a flashlight. We don't. All right, let's just go normal then. Draw line, daytime. Let's go. All right, so I was gonna say, depending on where we spawn is really the order in which we're gonna do stuff. But this spawn, I'm pretty much um, forcing myself to sprint straight up to the resort and mark the helicopter. And the reasons behind that is I don't really wanna go backwards and around and loot around here and just give away all that opportunity to get up there faster. That's probably the first major point. Should be able to get the helicopter planted. Where well, that's two markers done. And then I can get up to the resort and place two more of the other markers, the, the jammer and also the, uh, the marked room.
Now I probably will go somewhat through the uh, bus depot on the way through. And that will be to kill any of the scabs there. Go towards that daily getting shotgun scab kills. And there's already someone in there. So our objective right here is going to be... First objective right here is going to be quite simple just to mark the helicopters. Shouldn't be anyone to my right here. Those shots should have been admin or east side. There's the helicopter there. Moving nice and quick. Now the road is just over here to mark. And they were geared. They were really geared. I could have just let him run off. CN dash LR. All we did with them was we spawned, ran up to the helicopter and we tried to mark it. Um, did a bit of damage to him. I missed one of the shots, but I don't know. No idea how many pellets hit. Four, four straight bullets to the chest. Righto. Uh, GG's. So yeah, we got at least two of those markers down and we died. I think if we had a different gun, we probably would have been a little bit more successful there. Now, for that helicopter task, we do need to survive the raid. I'm fairly confident. Like, I'm 99% sure. So, we're uh, we are very, very broke. And so we need to do a scav run. And the way we're going to do that. Let me take this stuff out. Actually, no, we need to. And money.
So we need to survive the raid. Um, so the way we're going to do this next time, uh, next is we'll do a scav run. Um, we don't need those. We'll go interchange. So we can search computers and hopefully get a graphics card. We need four CPU fans and the graphics card there. So interchange run. Oh. All right, we are in. Think. Well, let's go check that scav there. Someone took the saga off him. We can probably get Keep going up here. Got a little lap up here I want to do, and then. I'm going to go towards the computer stores over near Ollie. Thought, thought I'd check this out on the way through. Already quite close to the uh to Emicon, so I don't really want to like go to a massive run and head over towards railway. Pretty much happy to just go through the computers here and then head out. Hello? There you go, mate. Good. Searching computers for days. That is tempting. Of course, now we find a graphics card. I'm just going to leave. I've got that graphics card. The airdrop was on this side. We might be able to get it on the way out. Our battery there. just out the front. I'm 
most likely looted, but... Could be huge, you know? All we gotta do is run around the front of the mall and say, Nah, or yeah. Someone might not even have gone to it, you know? Like that place scav might have been the only other place scav in here. I think, it, like, unless you've got a quest item that's hard to get, like a graphics card, um, you should really go for these kind of things if you get the opportunity. There it is. Might be looted. Nope. Be huge. Could be a bag. An icer as well. Billy. We have to drop a little bit of weight so we can actually leave here. I really don't care too much about that fuel, but we might be able to get away without having to drop the fuel. Forty three would be close. Still losing weight. Still losing stamina. Really? Wow. Should be enough. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> That's pretty big. I'm sure, the 
Aces is on for at the moment, but. Put a fair few things in. Or quest items. Just keeping an eye out. There's not going to be very much chance of a player coming around here, but there could be some player scavs, and sometimes people are jerks. Are you hearing things again? I want to make sure I can get over the fence, so save up some stamina now. That should be good. I wouldn't have had this run on factory. pretty huge so we went in we got a graphics card and stuff out of the uh computers and then we went outside and did the airdrop and voila but okay so these aren't needed for quests so i want to sell them pretty much all that i want to sell sell pass that for questing uh, might need that on the hideout for one thing but i'm going to sell anyway piece of quests put them down there for now i'm going to sell that as well uh and they we need wires for practically everything in the hideout. So we'll just hold on to them for now. Flee, flee, uh, flee. Flee, we can use that fuel, put that down there. Cool. What a huge scav run. What a huge scav run. How much does an ace sell for? 140? Sorry, 104. But better off just vendoring the acer. Got that for 50. Uh, sugars are selling really well right now. Vendors some more to be honest. Come on. Alright, some of these things are just gonna vendor real quick. Like that, 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 that. in so we got one of the graphics cards we need to find one more the other one we'll get from a quest what else do we get but a quest title i can't remember what it was for oh this one So now we can repair that. Uh, 
need to get a scab vest. And contact. Mags, ammo. Quest say SMGs as well. Cool. You and P will work there. And then we just need to take in one more. Alright, we're good to go for shoreline again. Hopefully this time we uh we have a bit more success than last. Uh as for meds. A little bit of Alright. Let's do this. Why don't we just use these? All right. Really shocking spawn when it comes to uh, getting up to the resort nice and quick. So we're going to go probably through the village and maybe check a couple of, couple of jackets along the way. I don't know. We could probably still go. Actually, maybe we should just go for the resort. If we're after... Oh, we forgot the face shield. Damn it. But half the equation, we're missing part of it. All right, so let's go straight to the... <laughs> Bus depot, and then hopefully I can kill a scav there and get a face shield. Man, that sucks. Gotta play now, I'll be a bit sad. <laughs> go through here just for my own safety it's exposed on the outside as a, as if I was on the outside Major threat angle is the players that are going to be running up that way. Maybe one behind me. One or two behind me. Anyone that was going to go behind me, though, most likely would have gone and searched the jackets and stuff inside the... Um, inside the village. Alright, that was some shots inside the actual resort then. That guy that killed me in the last raid, he heard me. It, there was, there's no way that guy didn't hear me. When I was marking and stuff, because he was, they, they were looking. Damn it! I don't see any scavs. right there. Give me your balaclava. Come on. Fucking, what is this scav? The world's most geared scav?
Right, let's go to the resort. This is all luck based now. I'm just going to run. Right, that sounds like East Wing. Getting busy over there. All right, so from here, put this up. We're to West 216. The lend lease. Couple grenade boxes in here we could probably loot. Get some utility. Check this room up here. I'll show you this room. It's really good for uh, getting bitcoins and stuff. Clock there. Oh my god, really? Cheeky Ledex, what a fucking raid. What an episode. No fucking shot. No fucking shot. We got a lighthouse extract. After lighthouse. With one, if I died, it's like, okay, well, at least I can use it for the med station. With two, I've got one for the med station and I can also use one for, um, 
pirate clinic, which is the big item case quest. Besides, like, finding that wallet at the start of last season for the keycard case, I think this is by far the most insane loot I've ever had in a raid episode. The double lead X. I don't even need those scavs. Oh, the scavs shooting at me now. that top room you usually get like a clock that's why i was like i'll show you because sometimes bitcoin spawns up there i didn't even know ledx has spawned up there i knew 205 had ledx spawn around insane that is straight up completely and utterly insane that is so insane spawned in we ran all the way to the resort via the bus depot killed us the bus depot headed up to the resort got the west 216 room to get the lend lease item and then we went upstairs uh and i was going to just show you a spot where some good loot spawns and a ledx spawn there then it goes downstairs and i was like you know what i've got a ledx if I die, I can use it for the med center. And then I open up the next door being West 205. And literally on the fucking chair is another lead X. So I sprinted out of that raid as fast as humanly possible. Insane. Oh my God. Um, all right. So from there. The, um, we can do the med center upgrade if we've got all the stuff for it. Otherwise, that would be the last upgrade. I need to, I need to check this out. The Intel center level two. Okay, med center needs, I need rubles and two of these. So we'll grab two of these. Oh, I don't have Vitality. One, one, two. There is a quest. Where it's like hand over a defib and hand over. Gives you a vitality lesson. We just need to craft a defib. How far from the next vitality level? Yeah, let's just do that. So, power on. Need a toolkit. Need one of these. Four of these. Cool. 
And then after that, we have literally everything besides the rubles to do that upgrade. And then nutrition can upgrade, or it is upgrading, so. Wow. It's not. All right, let's, um, we take a moment to sell some stuff. Uh, we can hand over the spa to a quest now too. Alright, so we are missing the WD-4100 mil. We can craft. Let's do that now. Leave it here. Cool, so that'll be done in two and a half hours. Um, yeah. It's speechless after that. I'll probably save up the Bitcoins that we get. We have one Bitcoin. <sighs> we could just sell them, but I kind of like the idea of saving them up. B3, one, two, three. Are these selling for anything? That's the vendor price. All right. So, how are we going for scav time? We can do another scav run. I kind of want to go back to interchange now. I'll do that. Oh, right, we're going to hand over that for the lend lease. So good. That was so good. What a ripper, eh? All right, interchange. Let's go. All right. Now, for a little while, a bit of trivia. Um, the double barrel used to spawn in. Used to spawn in the double barrel with no ammunition. Now, I believe we still need one more. Um. One more to shonk us. Let's see if we can get that done here. No, we're already here. Everything looks looted. Like one over there that I saw just before I turned. Watch this here and it sells for a bit. Rats. Here it is. That's the last one we needed for the quest. Jack Barrigam. Get a room here. that door was open or this door was open, I'd feel like someone had looted it and I probably wouldn't even waste my time. But because they're not, worth our time. Just those things are the kind of things to take notice of. Try and memorize which doors start and open closed. And it will actually, it'll actually help you out a lot. Obviously we need CPU fans, but ultimately you just may need Primary thing that we need right now is a um, graphics card. One graphics card. I'm 
quite happy to run through the middle of the mall here. See if we can get a bit, a bit more gear. open. Hello? Kind of for this guy. Clean up the kills. They left behind. You need Gunsmith 11 to get the key to go in here. Gunsmith 11, and then there's a um. Another quote. Another key you have to get, which you can do a barter trade for, or you can. On the flea. Hello? Excuse me. I think we just head out. Got the general wears quest done. Got a bit of loot out of this. Sorry. I think what we'll do is just go via the hidden stashes as well, mostly because I've got a right loot, but it's not like, oh my god, just get out loot. It's not double lead X's airdrop loot. Oh, this could be good armor. Rig. Backpack's not big enough for it. There's someone like right there. Reference to the top of that mount. Right there. Pretty sure it's just a scav.
Or I'm hearing that voice again. It's wrong when you're out of breath. Hello? All right. Nine, nine, five. And do you like this? Because we can. And where's complete? Oh, Billy. That was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely moist. Um, pair that, then we can sell it all. I'm pretty sure this sells for maybe more. Yeah, look at that. General wears quest complete. One less thing to worry about. Colleagues. There's also go to... Um, this is you've got to go to the three spots. In the one raid. Alright. In the meantime, I don't know if these are selling for more. Probably are. Worth fleeing to rest, not really. I don't think oh, that is actually. Then when I film tomorrow, it's gonna be it's gonna be a beautiful thing. Oops. Looks like it's all sold. Sorry. Wash usually sells for a bit. Dropped a little bit. Better to sell to vendor and then the rest we just sell to fence. Need 500k for the med station upgrade. Hopefully we have enough fuel to get it finished by the time I film tomorrow. Let's have another look. Why don't I have like an hour's fuel left? Two hours left. Got that one. Okay. Yeah, we need the defib to finish, which is in five hours' time, and then I can kick this off. Do I need anything else for this? I need three Intel and I draw. Intel 600k. I we'll just have to farm up the money. We do get Intel from killing. Sh German, I think it is, or it's, maybe it's maybe it's killer. Get two from this. Okay, maybe we should go for dorms next episode. Man, there's so much to do. We can go to dorms and mark the uh, the customs marked room. We just need to keep progressing through uh, this bit here, so we get the the rep, so we get peacekeeper level three, and then we can plow through a lot of these quests here. The gunsmith. We just need the RSAS. It's going to be the sticking point. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. What an insane episode. Double lead X's, airdrop. It's Tarkov Prime working its wonders. Hey, 
anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode um by now you should have figured out what's going on with the, all the intro stuff if you haven't keep keep working it out um just today thursday maybe thursday or friday um my roll video this week is the face shield lighter face shield and the completion of the lighter really so make sure you go check it out it's it's uh put a lot of time and effort into making that and uh, we've got a couple more videos over the next few weeks for the lighter um that are really exciting um filming a music video that the lighter's going to feature in and uh it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm excited to share this stuff with you guys anyway um and if you haven't checked out the raft video go back and check that out on the main pestily channel Anyway, I'll leave this one here. Like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And lastly, I'll see you next time.